friends every time. When I'm broke, I feel like a debate. <laughs> I feel like a sure now. Yeah, yeah. Because the government doesn't care about the devilies. That's right, I said it. Yeah, yeah. But if you listen to that track, it was praising women. And it goes for about 15 minutes. For what? Especially the Zimbabwean women. You guys have been with the brokest niggas on earth. Yeah, yeah. You guys have been with those guys who say, ah, Nasi Shah, no Ziva Zimbabwe. Yeah, yeah. It's good because I always wish to date a white woman, you know? But, I, uh, but, uh, but then, I dated. Uh, she was an albino, fluent in English, but she was white to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think about Zimbabwean women, they really deserve to be appreciated. Because you guys, you know, you know, you keep it there. You just, you know. I've been going to clubs. Now you're, the songs about you guys picking up something. Sita, Seo no longer, Seo no longer. Why? And we'll be behind you just saying, I'm a deal with you, Pesenadi. Pesenadi, Pesenadi. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that, that, no, that's not the story. Our women need, you know, we need to take them out, you know, more often. Because, you know what, I took out my chick, but you have to understand, some of the chicks are not really, you know, choose, just choose a special chick for a special event. I took this chick out for a movie. Now you know you know the movies sit, huh? If you don't drop them, they're like this. So she was like this. <laughs> She's like, baby, why am I on, on why am I on top? Like, hey, no other seats, city. And don't get them too drunk, because women when they're drunk sometimes they become too emotional. They cry. You know? Why? I told you I don't dream. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we gotta love our women, you know. They've been. Hey, now I'm sweating like the guy who gave our president the raw speech. <laughs> you know the most terrific. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The most. You know, you guys. I don't know. Maybe you got frustrated, but the most person who got frustrated to was the. You know that lady who does sign language. She was like... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just can't imagine my president, you know, at the stage was, it, it was on fire, eh? Kuminyatisa. Tamberi Pewanu. And the wife was like, stop it! I mean, in Zimbabwe, you guys you gotta realize, you know, fine, our ladies, yes, but you guys sometimes, you you try too much, you know, you know those women, you know, they put those lightening creams, but they don't work here on the elbows and knuckles. That skin will be like you you can't turn me light. Mm -mm. Then in Pluwayo, women were now. Buying those uh, fake hips, you know, that is, hey, bruh. I remember that time I was, I was at the club, right? So I saw this chick, hey, I'm gonna deal with you. <laughs> she had hips and everything. But the, because the hips are from China, so the hip was but oh, it was dropping. So it seems like a new dance. She was just. I said, why are you doing this, baby? Because 
because you guys are naturally beautiful. Clap hands for every woman. You guys are all looking beautiful. Well, not all of you, but some of you. <laughs> I've been disappointed. You have seen those women who are just in proper fraction. She's just up, hey, here, she's here, hey, but down there, bah, bah. But you have to understand one thing, our ladies are like Pentecostal churches. They deserve to be pampered with money. And men, we have to be like Jehovah's Witnesses. No matter how hard she says no, keep on knocking, bah, bah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I come from a dysfunctional family. My uncle drinks. My uncle drinks. I know you can sense the Ndebele accent. We don't say aunt, we don't say Kasi. Hey, I just said the same word. <laughs> my uncle drinks. Is that guy who says beer is my pride. Unlike you guys, I swallow my pride every day. <laughs> <laughs> but he got married to the ugliest woman. The first time I saw her, you know, I said, hey, you really deserve a beer. Because I could tell the way she was created, God was like, Ish. Eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But those guys are in love. And my auntie, my auntie, you know, she's saved. She's a born again. She believes in, she believes in God. The time when I was sick, huh? They took me to this, uh, you know, crusades every time. But before I tell you the story, and Uncle Manchela, one thing, I'll tell you. Fanam, treat the ladies. Don't even talk big. Just speak to them through music. One time, she, one time he was drunk, huh? Okay, I can't find my item. So, so that she goes, hey? Ubunga, hey, I want some tall. Don't worry, baby. I sat at the bed in Pincha. I sat down, I sat down, I sat They took me out, so I, when I was feeling sick, right? So there was a crusade going on. So I was laying down, so I was, you know? Like I a stretch. But then I saw the pastor performing. The pastor came on stage. Rita Takata! Rita Ravashata! Fire in you! Rita Satara! Rita Satara! Rita Ravashata! Every time, every time, when they get sick, ah, fire, ah, fire. So I was still laying down, right? Wait, wait. I was still laying down. So I'm thinking, you know, in my comic mind, I'm thinking, so do they always use the same sound? Because well, you have realized with these pastors, they've got a wife who can prophesy on you. As a man, cheating is in our blood. You can't have a wife who can prophesy on you. Imagine, you're from cheating as a man, then you Baby, you know what time is it? Where was you? No, baby, I, I, yeah, my meetings. Sure. God is telling me you're lying. 
You lie to me. You lie to God. Fire! 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 Ah! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> then my mom, she's a police officer. I can't drink water in the living room. It's public drinking. But that woman taught me respect. That's why I respect every lady. Clap hands for yourself, you beautiful ladies. Yes, and that's why I drink like a fish. And that's why I go to Roman Catholic Church. Because the pastor will be dead drunk. Have you ever seen them? The Bible is this big. Why are you talking like this? Oh, the Pentecostal churches, the difference with, between Pentecostal churches and Roman Catholic is that, you know, Pentecostals, Makadio came in, you know, introduced miracle money, Indians started to flock in. You know? Penance enrichment, Chinese flocked in. So I was thinking, why? Why don't you guys as Roman Catholics just put sound, you know, in your, during the, you know? You know, just imagine the priest, way, hey, just imagine the priest chilling with the nuns, just with swing, virtues. And imagine if that time, huh? Of uh, wine and testing.